Hello everyone, welcome to another instalment of The Moving. There'll be no tears, hopefully, in this video. It's now Saturday, the 30th of September. I'm over here to help my mum move house. She's actually moving on Tuesday. So um, let's have a look round, shall we? Well, as you can imagine, everything is in a, a mess. In the sort of halfway in between times, you know, there's things packed, there's things not packed. Um, I think that cleaning stuff is going to go in with my mum, you know, to clean the new house. And so I've brought with me a few bits and pieces. I bought some clothes and obviously my toiletries I need for a few days. I've also bought an extension lead and uh, this LED light, it's pretty good actually. Um, it's just to look in the new loft and any other areas. There may be a light in there, but I thought I'd better bring one. Um, they've gone out with most of the dogs, but not Daisy and the little cripple. Ah, oh, poor little Molly. She can walk sometimes. She has a pram. Um, I've come with the Bissell Crosswave, I'll be using that in the house here to clean the floors here and also in the new house and my favourite Bissell at the moment for the uh, revolution I'll be cleaning as much as I can tomorrow my mum is off to the airport to see my nephew and his son and family off to America, they're going to Jackson I think that's in Florida, not for a holiday unfortunately, they're going because my great nephew Oscar has cancer and there's some treatment that can only be done in America so the NHS are paying for it. So they're going to go, I think they're going for about four months or something um, to get this specialist treatment. So tomorrow on Sunday my mum is going off to see them off on their um, trip so while she's out I'll be cleaning and shampooing this carpet won't have time on moving day get the worst of it off I won't be making a video of that I haven't brought my um, tripod with me or my lights or anything it's a bit dark as you can see all this a lot of that's mine not all of it no probably a third of it's mine the the back row of boxes but this has all been bought all these have been brought down from upstairs but what we're going to do well with, with no dining table my mum sold some of her furniture to the removal people the dining table she didn't want to keep because it won't go in her new kitchen plus there was some other furniture from upstairs which was in the garage so the garage will be a little bit emptier so i'm planning on moving most of this into the garage we're going to try and clear as much as we can Oh, it's raining again. We're trying to clean as much, clear as much as we can into the garage because we've got the dogs here during the move. The people over the road, I don't think, are going to be having the dogs. So if we can get everything out of the shed and we're taking some of these potted plants in the containers and that uh, statue and some garden furniture. So all that, if we can get that out of the garden and everything out of here, then the dogs can be locked in here. They can still have access to the garden because they can get out. They've got water and everything. And we can close the door, close the curtains. They'll still bark, but at least it keeps the dogs out of the way and out of harm's way. We'll keep the gate locked so the removal men can't come in. So we'll just make sure everything is out of there. Oh, it's a shame because if my Mark and my mum have gone to the Knavesmire, as it's called, in York, which is an area near York Racecourse. And they've gone to see, well, they were going to see some a balloon festival, hot air balloon festival. But there won't be any hot air balloons going up in this rain. And they've only just set off. They might be coming back soon, so it's all, all very dark. So you'll have to excuse the poor lighting conditions. I had to take Molly upstairs while they were going out because she had gone mental that she wasn't going with them. So, um, <laughs> it's an absolute tip. 
it'll all come together because we're not moving till Tuesday. It's Saturday. We've got Sunday, all Sunday, Monday to do the final stuff. I think most of the stuff is packed. There'll just be old bits and pieces that need to be packed. I'm hoping now that my mum has packed. You see, it still looks pretty much... I'm hoping these drawers are empty. Yes, well, at least she's... Well, not quite. Oh, you always don't want to see... You don't want to see knickers, do you? Why? Yeah, I think my mum's... Um... Oh, no. Oh, honestly. I would have... I don't know what she's playing at. She's still got stuff in these drawers. I would have had everything packed by now. Well, not everything. Maybe just leave one drawer with bits she needs for the next few days. You know, the essentials. But really, what are you playing at, Mother? Oh, it's... Oops, the focusing on this is not very good. It does it eventually. I'm going to have that. She's... I gave it to my mum ages ago, that Hoover. It's one of the earlier Chinese ones, so I think it's pretty, pretty battered about. Well, let's we'll see if I can clean up. I don't know if it's worth cleaning. Um, well, my old bedroom isn't too bad at the moment. Uh, I did all this sort of last week. I mean, all that's up here, I think, basically, is some empty boxes. All we're taking from this room is my bed. That's going to go into the front bedroom of my mum's new house. Um, I unpacked this, now I unbox this. I don't think I'll put the video of unboxing that. Well, I have got an unboxing video of this one. You might have already seen it. Because I've got two of these now, and I ordered this one because the other version was pictured. Because they do two versions of this. They do one with the older style head. Do you remember the Hoover Freedom? Um, the first one that was silver and black and it was launched when the Hoover Slalom came out, the Air Evolution range. Well, anyway, this has got more of a pure power base, but the first one had a redesigned base which was much more sturdy. So I was rather disappointed when I got this and it wasn't the one I wanted. So because this is the last vacuum I've got basically here, I thought, oh, well, let's unpack it. I've been using it. And it's pretty good, actually. It has picked up quite a lot, but it's uh, quite noisy. That's my mum's floor, mate, which she might start to use in her new house because she's got a bigger kitchen to clean. That needs a good clean-up, though. I would like to take that home um, at some point and do a comparison with the Bissell Crosswave. But I don't think I've emptied this, but, it, yeah, it was uh, it's pretty. You can't really see, can you, folks? Um, oh crikey, it's not, not a, it's not got one of those turn down hook things. This, obviously, this one is banned now from being manufactured because it's, it's really loud. Well, it's, I think it's 89 decibels, which means it's 9 decibels over the limit. Now, but this, can you see all that? I mean, my mum and, my mum and brother have been to the north co northeast coast a few weeks ago so they obviously brought some sand with them that it does a really really good job i mean it's a quad a rated vacuum but it's not one that will last i think i've seen reviews of people and bits break off and that i thought the last cleaner i use in this house is a hoover I was planning on bringing my Turbo Master and using it, but, well, it wasn't practical. This was here, and when I finish with it, at least I can put it in its box for when it's transported so it shouldn't get damaged. Uh, but, yeah, apart from the bed, I best check the drawers, actually. <laughs> she needs a new, yeah. She could do with getting a new bed. I mean, it's comfy enough. It's pretty old, this bed. Pretty old. Oh, I emptied all this. I don't think I showed you in the last, the last video. This is the other loft space. That had different things throughout the years. Hoovers and Playmobil mainly. So that's all empty. So that's good. 
and uh, this built-in wardrobe thing. This is what I did. I mean, had I stayed living here, I always planned. I mean, that's coming away now. Oh, focus. Um, I just put some hardboard. Well, I did put some plasterboard up and then I had to put hardboard over. And I was going to put some um, wood cladding, um, tongue and groove panels over that, but never got around to it. So that's how it is. But a lot of the houses down here have converted because this is a dormer bungalow. A lot of the houses around here have actually put on another dormer at the back and put a bathroom here. And some have even gone right along the back and put uh, like an extra small bedroom and a, an ensuite. So they might decide to do that, the people who are moving in. So there was no point in trying to fix that up. They've, you know, tough titty, as they say. It's okay. Um, obviously that sink unit is fixed, so that's not coming. And this room, oh, the bed's been stripped at least. Ah, oh, but I don't think she's, the valance, I'll do all that. She might not have been able to move the, um, the doobry. What's it? Yeah, so all this furniture, well, it's funny, um, the third bedroom is so very thin, so it will just about fit the single bed in. But the rest of the furniture, probably that chair, the wardrobe, that chest, the two bedside tables and the double bed will be going in the second double bedroom at the front of the house. So my mum's having a double bedroom at the back with all the furniture of hers. So we went in there the last time. That's all empty. I think everything should yeah, everything should be empty in here. Yes. Might give them all a vacuum, actually. Yeah, they could do with vacuing out, couldn't they? I'll use that Hoover. Hoover Freedom thing. And all this is empty, I'm assuming. Oh, oh I don't remember them having... Whoops, there's the original blue carpet that was in here. Many moons ago. Oh dear. Oh and that paper. They left that paper, that awful this was the fashion. Well if if the walls weren't too good in houses, people used to put this textured paper up. You can just about see it. And um yeah, this is some of my dad's electrical work. It's safe enough, but uh not exactly to code, if you know what I mean. You're not supposed to do your own electrical work nowadays on houses. Uh, and if you do, you're supposed to get it checked by an electrician. In my house, I did change all the sockets, all the light switches, all the sockets that were just white plastic. I changed them all for, ooh, for metal, not like this, minor silver. Uh, this is a brushed steel, mine are sort of shiny chrome. But they're screwless. I like the screwless design. As you can see, that's screwless. And one good thing about this design is this front plate pops off. You pop a screwdriver in the bottom there, or if you're strong enough. Uh, oh, I can't do it, ouch. Anyway, for when you're decorating, you can just take that front panel off and then you don't get any paint on it, but you, you can just go over and uh, so. That's that. All the doggy pictures are down. So, yeah, no tears today, but I think when we finally close the door, I don't know, apparently, well, no, now I won't say it because he'll be watching. Uh, so, there we go. So that's all I've got to show you for this video. Probably do another video tomorrow. I'm just trying to get as much footage, just maybe somebody might like to watch it. I don't know, but it's for me as well for me to look back on and reminisce. Uh, I'm quite um, looking forward to seeing inside my mum's new house because I've not seen it. I've only seen it from the outside. And above all, the thing I'm most interested in seeing is the loft because obviously I'm going to need some of that. Well, I'm going to need all of it basically. Hopefully it'll be a decent size for me to store some vacuums and some Playmobil. I've got use of the garage initially anyway, because there's a carport as well. So my mum will be putting her car there. So when we first move, 
all the boxes of mine will be just going to the garage. And then I'll see what work I have to do in the loft. I'll be taking you into the loft. I'll be showing you all this. This is all going to be part of a series. Moving house. Uh, how to avoid the pitfalls. Or, I don't know. I've moved house not that long. Well, yes, it's about six, six odd years ago. We did it ourselves, Mark and I. We hired a van and we were only moving less than a mile away. And it took several trips. But... If we moved again, I think we still would do it. I would prefer to do it myself while we're still fit and active. I don't really like other people touching my stuff, no matter how I'll pack everything really well. But I still prefer to do it myself. Um, but anyway, so contracts should be exchanged on Monday, I think. And hopefully. And we leave this house. My mum leaves this house after 30 odd years. 31 years she will move to another house she didn't think she'd ever move but here we go she's moving thanks for watching stay tuned for the next thing's exciting installment next exciting installment oh sorry i've been up since well i've been awake since about half three and it's starting to take its toll as you can see on my face anyway Please join me for another video and uh, see how the move goes. Bye for now.